dangers of sitting in a bus. You get little metal shards in your butt. We are back <laughs> at the bus for another day. It's going to be a short day today. Yeah. We're just going to clean up the floor, get the last ceiling panel off there, that get that panel. front panel off right there, yeah. and uh, we're going to see. I'm going to see if I can't get the rest of the screws out of the wall. Um, and that's it for today. It's very cold. It's minus 28 degrees Celsius out here. Yeah. Very cold. So we're only going to do a little bit. And then we'll come back in a couple of days on the tour. Well, it'll be warmer by then, but... It's warmer than today. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay, so this is before, and I got to pick up all this little metal stuff and get the floor cleaned up as much as possible because it's just not nice. Yeah, as we were talking about, I'm going to be taking this panel off and then this front panel, which requires me to take off this and the mirror and the fan, all of which we're going to keep these. The, uh, this shade for when you drive it, this thing's awesome. The visor thing. The visor, yeah, that's staying. But uh, here we go. Okay, so they say if you have the strip screw, which these screws are all stripped, you can use a rubber band to get it out. So we're going to try that. Supposedly you just put it out with a screw and then you put the head in. That did not work. <laughs> it did drill a hole in the, in the rubber band though. So what is our next option? Our next option is to either grind them off or zip cut them off which I don't feel like doing tonight, so that means Chris will either have to grind them off or zip cut them off tonight. <laughs> but I'm gonna try one more. It's maybe not so. Nope. So I don't know what the hell strip they think it has to be, but these are stripped and it's not working <laughs> at all. And we are using a number three head, so it's flat, it's not pointy. Yeah, the number three Phillips is a little bit wider and less, yeah, pointy, so it's getting further into the screw. Yeah. Okay. So it should be, it was able to pull some of the ones that were stripped out. Okay. So. Chris doesn't have the patience for the rubber band trick, <laughs> but Christina did. Chris is going to get the grinder. Okay, these panels are tucked in underneath the windowsill. My guess is the, the smart way to take that panel out is to take the windows out. But uh, it's winter in Canada, we're not doing that. So what I'm going to do now, we're taking out all the screws that'll come out and I'm grinding the heads off the rest. Back up in here, a whole bunch. And then what I'll do is come along here about a half an inch or so down with a zip cut and I'll just cut them off and when we do the roof raise and take all the windows out we'll pull all those panels the rest of the pieces out.
So Christina just took the inner wheel well off the plastic piece and underneath it is exactly what I was hoping to see. The metal one from the underside of the bus and then the hose is running across it for that heater. Now when we build this out, we can just build a box out just high enough to insulate around this wheel well. So perfect. Well, that's it for today. We got quite a lot accomplished. Yeah, but it's, it's still a short day. Yeah, we've only been here a couple hours. Yeah. And we got the last panel off, the front panel off, the wheel wells off. Wheel wells off and a good cleaning. All the screws and crap off the floor. All the metal, the screws and everything have been reclaimed. We're going to take those to the recycle place. There is still a gummy worm stuck back there on the floor. That gummy worm is now part of the bus. <laughs> we will build a frame around it and it will become part of the bus build. What's its name? Wormy? Gummy. <laughs> GW. His name is GW. I'm not using that part. Uh, so what is our plan on Saturday? So we're going to come back Saturday. We're going to get the uh, walls out. I think we'll work on getting all the wall panels off and all the insulation out of there. And maybe start the floors. And then after that, it's the floor. We can take the center aisle out. Yeah. The strips. Uh, the floor is going to be very hard to do in the winter because it is, it is cold. But... No, we got warming up coming. Warming up is coming, but we're going to snowboard. Not by Saturday. <laughs> no. So I guess that's it. Yep. See you Saturday. Hi people, we're back. It's Saturday. We are going to scrape the insulation off the roof. This is coming off, yay! We're going to take the panels off the sides. Those right there. See? And if we get time, we'll tackle the flooring. Part of the flooring. Part of it. <laughs> so but little by little, we get at it. And I'm a little sick, so sorry if I sound a little stuffy. Not COVID positive, he took a test. My mother had me tested. <laughs> and Houston. Which is even funnier, because that's where I'm from. Yes. <laughs> we got all the screws huh? zipped off here, they need to be. But up on the top, because it's tucked under the win window, I'm just zipping it, and yes, I know it's not straight. And no, I don't care. I thought we weren't gonna zip it, I thought we were just gonna pull it off. Okay, Christina's working hard, taking off all the loose stuff, <laughs> including the frost, <laughs> picking off all the loose insulation up in here so that we're not having to fight with that. Looking really good. There we go, one side's all done. Shifted all the stuff over to this side. But you can see I got all the panels off, all the insulation out. Do the other side. So we've got the ceiling all scraped down, we got the wall panels all off, we swept up, cleaned everything up. Now we are going to begin on the floor, uh, specifically today, the strip down the middle. We gotta cut, get all the uh, screws out and pull that up and then possibly start on the heater. Let's see what happens.
done. So that's all we're doing for cleanup for the day. These are my two helpers for the day. I'm back at the bus with the kids, Heidi and Smiley. Uh, no Christina today, she has got the flu. So we've come here today just to remove the heater and the hoses under here. Probably just gonna roll it up and stuff it in front of the driver's seat for now until it's a little nicer outside and I can pull the hoses off and drain them. Any more you can do? All of these. Okay, give her. Okay, just shove it in there hard and then just push down on it. Yeah, and then closer to the screw. Yeah, now lift up. Now shove it way in and lift up. You can't, you can't get in there. Okay. Here's what we got. The heater is now disconnected from the floor. We took, Jacob and Michaela helped me. We pulled all the covering off, the, the metal, the tin crap, all the way up to just behind the driver's seat. And this is nice to see. We've got connections right here. I can take, just disconnect here and here, put a loop in here, a couple of elbows, and hose and I can block that off so now I don't have to worry about all that flowing to the back so that's a job for an er for a warmer day for now we're going to coil it all up bring it all up around and stuff it up in front of the driver's seat until we have a warmer day I'm just gonna take the wiring off for now, because we don't need to worry about the wiring. And the wiring, just like the rest of the wiring, I will track it all back to the fuse panel. But for now, we do the same thing. Just gonna tuck it up there. This is gonna be the hard part. I don't know how I'm gonna, if I can, boil this. On a normal day, I would just disconnect the hoses, but I don't want to get antifreeze everywhere. So for the time being, until it's warmer up and I can deal with this. Oil up. So that's all we're doing for cleanup for the day.